point it right at their, whoever's talking, right at their mouth. Yeah, that's guys really good. Is that where the sound comes out? Yeah. <laughs> Depends. Yeah. Later on at night, it's a, it's a different area. But. I said a Sheboygan brat, you know that? <laughs> that looks like an English black pudding to me. Yeah. And we're not talking about food if we don't know. Oh, I don't yeah. know. God. So do you want Chris to introduce himself or shall I introduce him in the, you know, in the course of conversation? I think you introduce him. I think you, yeah. yeah. All right, we are I've rolling. Forgotten your family name. Uh, Black. Black. Okay. All right, we are rolling. Okay. You know, I get to meet some some great guys in this business. Uh, a lot of them are brewers, but some of them run bars. And uh, Chris Black has run some of my favourite bars. I think I first met you down in uh, Houston, was it? Yeah, Houston, like 1988. That was that Ginger Man. Ginger Man, yeah, Houston, Texas. Uh, the original ginger man and uh, brought you in for a nice little tasting in the backyard and uh, then I had to drive you up to uh, uh, up to Austin for an interview for the next day. And had they opened the ginger man in Austin? No, that was much later, yeah. So, uh, but yeah, now we have uh, this place here. How many years have you been in, in Denver? You know, I come here every year. I mean, right. I come here to Denver every year, but I also right. come to your bar every year, <laughs> for sure. I mean. <laughs> Who would go to Denver without coming to Falling Rock? <laughs> Absolutely. We've been here since 97. We moved up here and decided to open up a uh, beer bar. And our goal was to have as good a beer bar as we could do it. And uh, especially because the Great American Beer Festival is here every year. Of course, that must be a, I don't know, a nightmare time or a wonderful <laughs> time for you. But it, it's, a, it's, a, it's both at the same time. It's a, it's a joyful nightmare. It's a lot Joyful of work. Yes. <laughs> Good phrase, I think. I mean, it's it's a lot of work. There's no sleep, way too much drinking, but I wouldn't change anything for the world. It's absolutely my favorite time of the year. So you like to be busy, busy. Well, it's a whole lot more profitable that way, absolutely. <laughs> the alternative is being completely empty, and that's not so much fun. <laughs> when you opened this place, what was your idea about what would make a great beer bar? Well, fortunately, I kind of got to cheat. I got to see some of the other great beer bars around the United States. Places like the Toronado in San Francisco, Horse Brass in Portland, Oregon, you know, uh, and plus I had worked at the Ginger Man. And, and so I took a little bit of all of those kind of things, and then plus some experiences that I had in Germany and in the UK, and kind of put them all together into one hodgepodge of a place that was very different and unique, and it was my place. So what is it that makes it your place? Um, I think the amount of me that's in here, I mean, the bottle collection that's on the wall is uh, basically a history of my drinking for the last 22 <laughs> or 23 years. So it's like a, a reproach, a moral reproach <laughs> yes, all absolutely. around the wall. You know, and that's kind of staring down on me. Uh,